Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna and in today's video I'm just going to bring you along with me in whitewashing this brick behind me here. Um, I've never whitewashed brick before but it looks simple enough so we're going to tackle that today. Um, I'll go ahead and insert a time in the comment box below if you want to skip all of the like cleaning and whatnot because I am just going to kind of clean the brick up beforehand and there's like a little bit of just like my workout stuff, just random stuff that I need to get out of there too. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on My very first tip for you guys is to do a 70% paint to 30% ratio of water. Somewhere around there is what I did and of course you could do more or less depending on your desired look. So my second tip for you is to not do what I'm doing here and instead work your way from top all the way to the bottom. The reason for that is, is even though I vacuumed and cleaned my brick beforehand, there still was a ton of just like dust and sand and all the little things and they were like falling down. So you don't want that falling on to your freshly painted white brick. So my suggestion and I highly recommend it is just work your way from top to bottom. I also just wanted to let you guys know that the brush I'm using is a three inch brush I believe and it is just flat from the dollar store. Um, I honestly did not think that this brush would hold up. I did have a more expensive brush that I believe was like, I don't know, it was around 15 or $16 and I have so many projects and things that I need to do so I figured for this I would just try it out with the treat 
the cheap <laughs> the cheap brush first and um, honestly you guys this brush lasted the whole time my only complaint is it was a little bit thick for some of the little you know spaces or whatever um, so you'll see me later on kind of having to jam it in there um, the lines that were vertical were pretty easily it worked pretty well in there but um, I would suggest maybe doing an angled brush I feel like that would be better for the cracks if your brush is thicker but again like it's not something you have to go and spend a lot of money on because as you'll see at the end of this video the result with my little Dollar Tree brush it did just fine so moving on to my third tip that is going to be to start with your vertical lines first so you want to go on each side of the brick, get your brush down in that, and then you want to do the horizontal lines. And then you're going to um, just kind of blend in the excess paint onto the brick then. I found that that way really worked the best for me anyways, but obviously you can do it however you want to. But I did find that if I went back and did the smaller vertical lines that it did kind of just it was too white for me and kind of the look that I wanted to achieve but again if you're going for a wider look than what I did do it however you feel necessary fourth tip is to step back every so often and kind of see if it is coming along the way you want it to what happened when I stepped back a few times was I realized I needed a little bit more white certain places um, and then also you just want to vacuum up all the crumbs that have fell on to the flat base of your brick um, just because there was literally so much dirt down there now so we do have like this little fireplace protector um, like piece of foam just in case you know one of the kids falls on it or something they're not going to like crack their head open um, so I did line that kind of I did it kind of sloppy to be honest um, I wasn't going to do anything there but I figured just in case um, since the paint is a little watery I would put it there just to kind of protect that um, with this base I will say this was like the only thing that I was kind of bummed about and I did get it a little bit too white um, so I think what I should have done and if I could go back and do it again I wouldn't have done like all of the little grout white um, just because it did make that look a lot wider than the rest of my brick so um, I did end up wiping that with a towel getting a little bit of the extra off and kind of just doing it that way but um, here you'll see I have my little helper helping me she loves painting and is always constantly asking to help me with my little projects which I love I think it is so important to include your kids on things and just have them be a part of what you're doing so here you'll see I'm just touching up that gray paint that looks so bad from where the desk and stuff was in the way I just wanted to go ahead and finish that and have it looking nice and fresh and by the way we are going to be getting new outlets and all that since these are so dated but again I just kind of wanted to throw this in here because that's really going to help make everything flow together and look nicely. Now it is time for the final result and I must say I absolutely love how this turned out. It definitely just brightened and transformed this space. I can't wait to bring you guys along with me to decorate and just see how I style it. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. I am going to be removing the desk that is there. I just... I think even painted it's still going to look out of place and then I have to do the outlets and get a plate for that hole in the wall that you see. But again overall I love this. It was super easy. It only took a couple hours and that's with balancing things that came at me throughout the day as well including homeschooling my daughter and dealing with a toddler. So. Again, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.